Um, well, got the win. That's all, you, that's all you hope for on senior day, get the win. And um, I, it was really easy to celebrate this four, these four. Um, this group of seniors is phenomenal. Um, their career has been incredible. Uh, they are so different, yet just operate as one. Um, it, it's really been an uh, honor and to be their coach. Um, and to get to celebrate them today on their senior day with their families was so special. Um, I got to be honest, it was one of the most emotional. I was, it, it really was. I mean, we've had incredible group after incredible group, and this is my 24th. And um, I'm used to coaching people like this that are, are amazing people with amazing families. But today, I mean, there were tears flowing from the beginning. Even Maddie, almost, I looked up at Maddie. Yeah, Maddie, Maddie me. almost got me going got right me. away. Uh, Carl was standing out with Carl, and uh, our photographer, and Carl's like, you're crying. And I said, no, I'm not. I said, but I, I just looked at Maddie. And, and so, um, but what they've accomplished and the way they've done it, the way they've carried on the legacy of what Oregon State women's basketball is, um, is, is been extremely impressive uh, to watch. And uh, they've left an amazing legacy that will continue on after them. And so um, the anthem was amazing today. Um, you know, yes. Janessa and her brothers was, I mean, they could go on tour. We all know, I mean, they could. That, that was incredible. I, I told Ron Callen after the game, I said, that was worth um, coming into Gill, just alone, just that, uh, let alone the game. And then um, you got to give Washington State a lot of credit. I uh, don't know what happened to Chanel um, in the pregame, but you don't want to see anything like that. You don't want people missing anything. And so um, certainly the game missed her today, and I, I thought their team deserves a lot of credit for stepping up. Um, her sister played a great game. Uh, she's a great player. Um, not known for shooting, but of course rose to the occasion today and knocked down some perimeter shots when we dared her, um, which I thought she would. Maybe hit one, but three straight um, was very impressive. But that's what you do. Uh, for for your siblings and I thought their team had a very focused performance and it took a lot of energy and effort from us in that second half to get away from them and uh, so it was just a great basketball game a great day in Gill and uh, we're thankful for so many uh, that came out to support us today mm -hmm. so they were shooting like 68 percent there early in the third quarter and then boom they couldn't hit anything was it your defense did they just get cool off what happened well I think it was a combination I, I you know is it Motuga? Is that how you say it? Uh, number 15. I mean, she's, she's such a dynamic player, you know, and I thought she set the tone for their team, hitting perimeter shots early in this game. Uh, I, th I think they felt like, well, we're going to be able to shoot over the top of Taylor or their five, and you're going to need to hit some. And so I'm sure Cammie challenged her, and she rose to it. I thought that set the tone for them, but we could not make them uncomfortable. I thought we were a little bit loose defensively, but you have to give them a lot of credit for the poise they played with. And then they really moved the ball well and found open shots, attacked at the right time, got layups. Um, those were the shots that I was the most frustrated with, giving up. Uh, but I, I just felt they were so comfortable. Second half, um, after you know those three perimeter shots went down, uh, then our defense changed. Uh, the energy we played with changed. And we got out in transition. And that's, that was the separator, um, that lineup that extended out a little bit further. Uh, but they, I just felt we made them more uncomfortable for them in the second half. Scott, knowing um, you were going to be playing Washington, you're going to play Washington State on Thursday. Um, is there any? How, how do you play this today? Do you, do you hold a couple things back, or do you just go? We got to win and do whatever it takes, or how, how do you? Play? Well, we need to win, no question. I mean, that's this, we need to win, and so we're we're building our resume. Everybody is, and. And so this was an important win for us today. I think there's some, you know, certainly some gamesmanship in it. That's the fun of a conference tournament. You don't know if you're going to see them again. But we knew before the game today that we were matched up against Washington State no matter what happened in our game. And so we had, this, was, this is halftime right now. This is an 80-minute game against Washington State. We need to win both halves. And so there is some of that. And so it will be, you know, fun to watch the film and see what adjustments they made. Uh, during the game, what adjustments, go back and reflect on what we did and then see what we can do moving forward and then predict what they can do. You know, hopefully Chanel will be back because we don't want people missing uh, and that will change, you know, some things of what they did today for sure uh, and be more of what we prepared for, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, that it's, a, it's a puzzle, you know, that, that uh, we're at the halfway point right now. For any of you guys, you guys went through this two years ago, playing Arizona State the last game, getting the win down there, and then placing them in the tournament. What do you, can you take anything away from that experience? I know it didn't end the way you wanted to, but, but coming back, I know you guys do that with Oregon and Civil War with a little less time, but 
do, what do you remember about that and the difficulty maybe of going up against the team the second time so soon? Yeah, when you play teams um, that close together back to back, you're very familiar with each other. Um, you just review the scout and go over tweaks here and there that you're going to make, little adjustments. Um, so they'll know our plays more um, coming in, but we'll also we have a lot of plays so we can use the ones we didn't use today. <laughs> For any of the players, um, senior day is always a kind of a crapshoot to start a game because you're so emotional. How was it out there today to start the game? For, was it easy to focus or not? Or? I think there's an, definitely an adjustment period at the beginning. Um, but, you know, after you go through um, the whole celebration together, clean up the tears, get right back to the warm-ups, and you're, you're focused on the game time um, and what the task at hand is. Scott, the, uh, there, there was a stretch there a few weeks ago where the third quarter was kind of not the greatest, but it seems like the last three games you sort of figured it out. If, is there something that changed or you just or you just back in play? I don't think so. I, it's hard to say. Um, you know, this team competes right, I think, most of the time and, and plays really hard most of the time. And maybe it's who we were playing. Maybe it was a circumstance of those games and coincidence that they happen to be back to back to back. Um, you know, but I, I just like the way we're playing. I like our focus overall. I think we're very comfortable now um, in, in everybody's roles. Uh, we've been able to be kind of the same now for a while, and the communication's getting better and better, and so our efficiencies are up. And, you know, you saw us do a couple different things today uh, that we haven't done much of all year. And so, you know, there's still growth in front of us, um, you know, but that's possible because of the consistency. And uh, so I, I don't know if it's one thing or, or two things, but focus out of the locker room has been uh, impressive uh, from the Cal game on. For any of you guys, you're through this rugged, what, 18 game schedule here of the Pac-12. Now you get to the tournament. I know you can't relax, but is it nice to get through this stage of things? Now you're on to the Pac-12 tournament and, and really looking at that postseason. Does it, does it change anything or does it just feel good to maybe put this part of the season behind and now you're on to the next one? <laughs> um, you know, as seniors, it's, of course, great, you know, to close one chapter and move forward to the next, but you definitely have to take the lessons that you've learned from this chapter and bring it on to the next, and I think we're going to, you know, make adjustments this, this week and um, come out strong for the next Pac-12 tournament. Mm -hmm. Something that he always says is, I mean, there's four nuts for us, so there's five sometimes. Um, I mean, there's four and there's three sometimes. I mean, three, yeah, yeah. yeah, there you go. There's four because of that tournament. But, um, you know, there's always nets to be cut. And I think when you do look at your season like that and you're like, okay, what's our next goal? What's our next priority? Um, it is, like Maddie said, obviously we need to learn from what we've done. But it is nice to be like, all right, what's our end goal? There's another net to be cut. And, you know, keeping that at the, you know, front of whatever you're doing and having that as your priority, I think that, you know, definitely helps you going into a tournament like that where everyone's good. I mean, it's not going to be easy. Yeah, it's a fresh start for everybody. Um, so everybody comes in there, has the same opportunity to go take that championship, um, and that's the same opportunity that we'll go out and compete for. Hmm. Awesome. Go Beavs.